We all know Nikki Newman for her many marriages to Victor Newman, but Victor is not the only man she's been married to. Today, we're going to take a look at all 11 times she has tied the knot. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. Greg Foster Let's start with Nikki Newman's first marriage. When Nikki Frost got married, it was to a young lawyer named Greg Foster. Unfortunately, her marriage to Greg was doomed to fail because she was having an affair with Paul Williams. Later, when Nick killed someone in self-defense, she got lucky after a street kid named Tony took the blame. Greg was hired to defend Tony, but when a shot meant for him killed his mother, the truth about Nikki and Tony came out. Greg quickly ended his relationship with Nikki. Kevin Bancroft Moving on to her next marriage, Nikki got married to Kevin Bancroft in 1982. Nikki was introduced to Kevin by her future husband, Victor Newman. Victor had unknowingly impregnated Nikki but didn't want to get involved with her because she was a stripper at the time. Nikki had a hard time dealing with Kevin's domineering mother so she returned to stripping. Kevin called it quits with Nikki soon after that. Victor Newman Now let's talk about Nikki's many marriages to Victor Newman. The first time she married Victor, they wanted to raise their daughter Victoria in a proper family. Victor later began having an affair with Ashley Abbott but quickly got back with Nikki after her cancer diagnosis. Soon after, they welcomed their second child, Nick. Although the story of Nikki's second marriage is heartfelt, the marriage was short-lived. Her second marriage to Victor was when she was on her deathbed. Victor was married to Diane Jenkins at the time and got a divorce from her to be with Nikki for her final days. Nikki survived and they tried to make it work. When Nikki and Victor got married the third time, it seemed like they would be together forever. Their third marriage lasted six years. When Victor realized that Nikki was his one true love, the couple got married at the same place where they first got married. In the six years of their third marriage, Nikki and Victor went through a few illnesses and some presumed deaths. This time, Nikki was the one to leave after Victor was caught kissing his son's wife. Nikki's current marriage to Victor began when Victor returned from the dead. After their ranch house burned down, the couple got married on Valentine's Day 2013, hoping for a fresh start. Then in 2017, Nikki and Victor decided to have an open marriage because they both wanted to be with other people too. But when Victor's life was threatened, the pair soon became loyal to one another again. Jack Abbott Nikki first married Jack Abbott after Victor Newman divorced her. After Jack's attempt at ruining Victor's reputation, Victor took over Jack's company. Jack married Nikki, who also wanted to hurt Victor. Later, Victor revealed he hadn't moved on and agreed to give Jack his company back if he divorced Nikki. Jack had gotten tired of Nikki's alcoholism and painkillers addiction, so he agreed to divorce Nikki and got his company back. Nikki's second marriage to Jack Abbott started out fine but ended dramatically. Jack was recovering from a shooting which had left him paralyzed when he and Nikki got married again. Nikki turned down a surprise honeymoon with Jack to go look for Victor who had gone missing. Jack realized that Nikki would never love him as much as she loved Victor. Nikki couldn't find Victor and tried to make things right with Jack, but the damage had been done, so he divorced Nikki. Joshua Landers Now back to her one-off marriages. Nikki's marriage to Joshua Landers almost killed her. She began a relationship with Joshua who was a gynecologist. The two decided to elope and got married in Las Vegas. Soon after, Josh's ex-wife came back from the dead and tried to work things out with Josh. Josh didn't want anything to do with his ex-wife which caused her to lose control and kill him while shooting Nikki four times. David Chow Getting married to David Chow was dangerous for Nikki Newman. When she was running for the state senate, Nikki got close to her campaign manager David Chow. David proposed to Nikki and she agreed because she was sad after finding out that Victor had gotten engaged. It turned out that David had a dark past and when Nikki found out, she wanted a divorce. To Nikki's surprise, David tried to drug her but she was rescued. Later that evening, David was killed after getting in an accident. Deacon Chop Deacon Chop didn't prove to be a good match for Nikki. She was attending AA meetings when she met Deacon Chop. Although Deacon was secretly working with Victor Newman to turn Nikki into an alcoholic again, Deacon fell in love with Nikki. 
Deacon agreed not to let the police know what he knew about Nikki's killing of Diane Jenkins if she married him. When it was proven that she was acting in self-defense, Deacon was unable to blackmail Nikki and she was free. So that was Nikki Newman and her many marriages. Do you think her current marriage with Victor Newman is going to be her last? Let us know in the comments below. Subscribe to our channel for more soap opera content and don't forget to watch The Young and the Restless on CBS. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.